Hello my dear Taurus, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between Mars 1 and Mars 15, 2017 with me Queen of Cups Tarot. Uh, I now use the Legacy of the Divine Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. Now we'll start shuffling your cards. Uh, I call the Divine with love and light. I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and I call the six elements earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Taurus viewers. Uh, so I want my dear Taurus to have love in their lives and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Uh, we had the Queen of Swords uh, jumping off a little bit. Uh, so, I also want to take the chance to tell you uh, about the full moon, March 12. The latest event with the moon is the annular solar eclipse, February 26, when the moon covers the sun. But it leaves a ring of light due to the moon being too far away from the earth to completely cover the sun. Uh, after this reading, uh, March 20, we will also have the March equinox, um, marking spring and fall in the northern and southern hemisphere. Uh, so, I will just tune in for a few seconds. Okay, uh, so my dear Taurus, this is your future. Uh, this is your now and this is the past. Uh, the now is probably uh, the first half of March 2017, but whenever you watch this, it's probably the exact right time to see it. So, the first card for you here is uh, the chariot. Uh, so, the chariot is a blue, beautiful explosion of power, you can say. Uh, it's uh, You have been able to put two forces together uh, to make the chariot move forward. Uh, this is Sagittarius energy and this is Cancer energy. Sagittarius energy is very uh, straightforward, goal-oriented, a bit impulsive. And Cancer energy is more homey, more for safety, more for feeling and being grounded. Um, so it's like you need to pull, uh, you have um, been able to pull two different forces together uh, to reach your goal. It might be pulling two people in a relationship together. It might be using different parts of you, different archetypes of you uh, to maybe get um, maybe more self-respect because the chariot is, uh, um, is a card about planning and dreaming and heading for the future and then you need a lot, a lot of self-confidence. So the chariot is also about uh, self-confidence. We see that this... Um, uh, this driver here has uh, wings, uh, so it kind of helps uh, the chariot to fly. Uh, in a in a dream, uh, like a dream symbol, a chariot or a car would be your body. Uh, so um, this is of course uh, Jin and Jang. Also, we see on the the Cancer symbol on the on the chariot here is kind of resemblance uh, the Yin and Yang symbol. We also have the Moon here. Um, it's an um, uh, expression for the subconscious. Uh, the subconscious is the part of you that kind of records everything you are being through. Uh, it records um, every uh, second of every day of your whole life, also from your past life. Uh, so um, it's a lot of experience that's in there. Sometimes it can be frightening experience that's uh, kind of prevent us or hinder us more to move forward uh, because we might feel very scared that our past will reveal itself or repeat itself in our future. Uh, but it seems like uh, this lady is more supported by the moon than, than frightened uh, of it and she has it in her back like a support almost. Um, she also steers the horses with, with chains uh, so it might be that you are controlling your uh, emotions. Horses are uh, usually emotions. They are very emotional creatures, very intuitive and also very um, f following their instincts, very natural. Uh, so uh, this lady, she's controlling them with, with chains. There, mm, It might be <laughs> too much control here, maybe. Uh, but uh, they seem to be uh, full of power anyway. Uh, so we'll see with the next card. 
uh, here we have the two of wands. So two of wands is uh, talking about uh, uh, self-control. Uh, it's um, uh, two wands, kind of gorgeous power symbols uh, that's being pulled very straight um, like this. Uh, it's, it can be a separation also. Uh, maybe you need to um, prove yourself very strong. Uh, you know, you are pulled in another force in your life. Maybe it's your strength. And you, now you need to uh, kind of show yourself being very strong and, and self-sufficient and in self-control. Um, it's like a, you need to make also a choice where to go with the, with this chariot. So uh, it's like you can show, choose either of these boxes for your future. Uh, so it's kind of which, which uh, dragon you will feed is is the dragon that will prevail. So we have uh, this with the split of the two. Uh, so it might be that you're still a bit confused where to go with the chariot if you're going to... Um, it's duality, two horses, two wands. Uh, so mm, it's it's very much about self-control and self-sufficientness and, and um, believing in oneself. So uh, it might be that you have chosen a difficult road and now you need to uh, be very strong to prevail down this road. We see here we have the five of co coins. The five of coins being a card about... Uh, not having so much self-esteem, but actually lacking self-esteem and self-love. Um, so um, I think this is what you need to overcome. Uh, you need to be very strong here and very decisive and, and believe in yourself. Um, to overcome this, it's probably a very, very old thing with you. Uh, you have lost your confidence somewhere on the way, thinking that you are... Um, um, it's some lack of, of self-esteem, it's some lack of self-value. Um, you might think that you need to be in a certain way to become loved or respected or to uh, have, um, like, having the, <laughs> um, the, it's like you, you feel like you, you can't, you are not uh, allowed to live here and be loved and have a lot of money and have a lot of um, uh, fortune and fame and and um, success because it's like you need to be modest and and you need to be humble and you need to uh, be a little bit like working in the background almost like a servant on if some sort but uh, this energy with the chariot is completely different uh, so um, it's it's like two things wants to the new things wants to be expressed but it's uh, it's um, meeting up with the old thing where you where you are more in self-doubt and and this new thing it's like you're sniffing some new breeze of air some new fresh air with with more uh, success and maybe um, more receiving of things and and you can't receive if you are uh, feeling like you're not worthy uh, so we'll see more what this is going what what's going on here so here we have a knight of coins uh, Taurus of course uh, the two horses again, but they are free here. No uh, chain reigns. They are playing freely. Uh, so I think that you are trying to control yourself too much. I think that you are you want success, and and you might feel um, like um, you are worthy. Uh, you have uh, a lot of talents and gifts, so you know that you are a, a good part of the society. But it's like some parts of you are not allowed and uh, and these are the wild parts of you the wild undomesticated horses the wild undomesticated feelings uh, so uh, maybe you have been too much in self-control uh, maybe you have tried to master yourself in some sense that's not really good for you uh, so here with the knight of coins we have a lot of time on our hands here the Knight of Coins is, is like you can do something and you can work on it for quite some time. Uh, it's a knight, so it's much like the chariot energy, very fast moving forward. But this knight is different from the other knights. It's more like a turtle. It's moving relentlessly towards a goal, but it's take, it taking some time. Um, uh, so it's like you need to start enjoying the ride. You need to start enjoying your own feelings in your own body trusting your own instincts um, finding out what's making you playful and happy 
be more out in nature, uh, pamper yourself a little bit um, because it's like you have been living underneath a hard rain and that's your own. Uh, so you have been like um, maybe like a little bit of a dictatorship over your own self, uh, wanting to, uh, to be very controlled. Uh, so here we have the temperance card. It says the same thing as the chariot. Uh, so I think you have been working very hard on this with um, taking together the two different energies. But you have uh, been uh, not fully successful because it's like you're holding back with something. Here we have water and fire being mixed together by this angel. The light coming in is the divine light. We can see this also here. It's actually your soul's light. It wants to be manifested on earth. We can see how... Your soul's light has made those uh, flowers vivid and alive while the other ones, ones are dead. But when you are unable to receive, when you feel that you are not good enough as you are with your own feelings and instincts and whatever natural behavior you have that you don't like about yourself, uh, your soul can't express to you. Uh, it's like those horses, uh, they have a perfect expression of the divine in them and they are following that, their instincts. Uh, so this is definitely, you need to start to follow your instincts more uh, because you have already mastered this with self-control, I think. You have already mastered this with um, being a good trooper, being a good part of society, uh, not uh, burdening other people. Uh, and things like this and, and now you need to become more your true self let this light shine down and and just act more impulsively uh, according to uh, your current state of of um, uh, mind or your current instincts your current intuition it needs to be more playful your life needs to become more happy um, when you uh, become more happy and acceptance towards yourself, there will come more energy into your life. It's, it's very clear here. Um, you can see this. Uh, if I show you, this light's coming down, light's coming down, light's coming down. Here, you are kind of stopping this. Here, the lights come from within you or from the background here. Uh, so it's already there. That's a beautiful picture of harmony and, and kind of a paradise. paradise, paradise um, Long, um, being <laughs> so um, this light is you it's your uh, true self and and you kind of you try to stop it because you um, you're afraid of your own strength you're afraid of your own uh, passionate feelings you're afraid of your own instincts and intuition and and maybe you're afraid that you will you know ruin your world and ruin your relationships and um so you're trying to stop yourself from this, but what you're stopping is this light from coming down, um, your true self. <clears throat> Maybe I, I told this the last time, but uh, it's like with the uh, uh, um, Egyptians beliefs that the animals were above humans because they have their natural instincts. Uh, they know new things that humans didn't. Uh, volcanic eruptions, for example, animals know when this is going to happen, so they, they will flee before it happens or just when it happens and so underneath the chariot you have actually Sagittarius energy uh, so that's one of the parts of of this um, strengths here the energies that's pulling your chariot forward uh, the knight of wands is um, uh, much like the knight of coins it's just a little bit more fiery it's more hasty but it's still it wants to be happy it wants to find happiness knights are all about finding their true place in the world uh, knight wants to roam around and find this place. They are not going to settle on until they find a place where they can feel happy, when they can feel rejoiced, and uh, when where they can feel like a natural part of of life. Uh, they want to find their place, their their place of home. So the knight wants won't stop until they find this place. Um, and um, it's a very adventurous energy. It's a very fast, forward-moving energy. It wants success. It wants to be creative. It has a lot of energy to be, to to spare to become this creative and and successful. Um, so we see the dragons here. So it's again, which dragon do you want to feed? Um, and I think you have been wanting to to feed a dragon that's very calm and cool and and um, 
has this higher divine power, this air of power around it. Uh, but then you're forgetting your animalistic side. Uh, it needs to be there as well. You need to pull both those forces to get it to become truly complete and truly divine. Uh, so the next card for you is uh, Nine of Wands. So it's um, again with your strength here. We have the Two of Wands and the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a person really fighting to, um, and it's hard. It's like they are using a lot of energy to, the, to, you, to do this. So it's like you're using too much of your creative Sagittarius energy to control yourself instead of being creative and successful in the world. Uh, you're more um, being cautious about what you're saying, how you're acting, what you're doing, how other people uh, view you, um, things like this. You want to be... Uh, um, a master you want to be very in contact with the divine but what you're really doing is kind of denying yourself here and and this might um, really steal a lot of energy from you you might feel really exhausted because all of your energy is kind of going to um, uh, take control over your uh, your own strength because you fear this strength so much you fear this power so much uh, I think you rather would um, like listen to the divine all the time and just go with the flow, not be so active, kind of just see what the destiny will come with. But here it seems like you are destiny and um, your feelings and your longings is going to create this destiny, maybe not for only for you, but for a lot of people around you as well in your relationships. Uh, so we have um, earth energy here and fire energy. It might be another person also mirroring this with you. Another person mirroring a more adventurous side, a more reckless side, more impulsive side um, that you might dislike a little bit and try to keep underneath control. You think that this is dangerous, but it's actually um, a life force. Uh, really central here, we have the six of wands. Uh, so it seems like this um, five of coins might be uh, just for show. It's like you want to be a humble person. You want to be... Um, um, not a show off. You you want to be a humble part of society, not really shining too bright and things like this. But the actual truth is that you shine really bright. The six of wands is a person that has perfect, uh, uh, perfect contact with the divine, perfect contact with their inner self. They ride high on their horse in victory. Uh, so I think uh, this is um, this is not the truth. This is the truth. So you need to. Um, use more energy to align with yourself and the truth about who you are and what you believe about yourself instead of trying to paint a picture of yourself. That's not really true. Uh, you have much more strength and creative powers and a lot of success, I think, waiting uh, behind the doors because this is very, uh, it's very creative. It wants to uh, it wants to kind of ignite energy, so energy will come back to your life and manifest something beautiful. But when you try to be like a humble person, um, uh, it's almost like um, giving away all your stuff, living in humbleness. Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, sometimes it makes us feel really free. But here it seems like it's actually preventing you from becoming your true self. It's It's like you... Uh, maybe you could have more, you know, um, more things in your life that would make you happy. And um, it's like a humbleness with you. It's like you have maybe, uh, maybe in an early lifetime, you have um, made a well, well, uh, a promise about poverty and celibacy and things like this. So it's kind of preventing your that beautiful energy that wants to come true into your life right now. Uh, it's it's an old it's a human rule this with living in poverty it has nothing to do with uh, with the, the spiritual realm uh, we are here to really fully live our lives uh, we are not above uh, the animals and uh, this with chastity and poverty and everything it was maybe a good part of our um, personal growth during a s certain period of time when we needed this uh, but now we, it seems like you have mastered this to full extent, maybe uh, too too much even with all this reins control and uh, um, the dodges and um, um, very humble lifestyle. 
and, and keeping yourself underneath a heavy power, um, kind of restraining yourself, uh, when actually uh, this beautiful energy just wants to calm down and maybe make you uh, expand like a beautiful flower, uh, the, the beautiful being that you are. And, and now this energy being uh, hindered a little bit by, by your own inner conflict, like we see here with the uh, Five of Wands. Uh, the five of wands might be expressed like a conflict uh, on your outside world, but it's usually a conflict within you. And I think it's a conflict between who you picture yourself to be and who you actually are. Uh, you, you are not being really true with who you actually are and what you really think about yourself and what you really feel and want. Uh, it's like you're um, having... It's like you you are not really going with the flow here, even if you think that you are doing so with, um, you know, harvesting the destiny all the time, whatever. But you are not really going with the flow because you're stopping your own flow, your own creativity, your own strength. Uh, the next card is the star card. So it comes underneath the temperance. So it shows that you have beautiful support right now to kind of um, um, heal or build on those old ruins and we see with the temperance card it's it's a card about uh, love but it's also about, about uh, it's like when you meet someone that's your opposite but it's also what's happening within you uh, different archetypes that needs to kind of come to surface and be uh, be included in your being and the star is um, is talking about a destiny together with uh, maybe a soul group or or someone special uh, so both those cards is talking about divine love or higher love or uh, people that you're destined to work together with. So you probably have a beautiful mirror in your life right now. Uh, so you can see it might be a person that you're really irritated on or <clears throat> that you admire. It's different from for different situations. But um, the things that you're irritated on is probably things that you have in yourself unexpressed and that... Uh, that's really a part of you that you need to kind of accept and maybe start including and working on and giving more space. And and the things that you think are so beautiful with other people uh, is beautiful things uh, that you also have probably unexpressed. And so this is all about taking in more about what is, is you and you have been really afraid to do so. Uh, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but you have a lot of support here. Uh, so uh, try to... Try to see yourself when you are stopping yourself or when you are kind of keeping too hard reins on yourself or when you are in inner conflict, like you want to do something, but you can't because you have these moral rules or values or codes that's uh, preventing you from from becoming your true self. Uh, so um, uh, this is probably in February for many of you. And this is uh, the beginning of March. Uh, this will be in the future. Uh, so we have the hangman here uh, and this is um, this beautiful Sagittarius energy wants to be uh, expressed. It's kind of hindered here. It has been entangled and, and stopped and uh, it's losing some of its power here. Money is falling and it's like the time has ceased to uh, to um, uh, <laughs> to move on. Um, it's like he's underwater and yet in space It's very beautiful. Uh, but this is like you won't be able to move on in into success or in relationship with this person until something has been seen, until something has been accepted. It's like you're being hold back, hold back, hold back, hold back until you will see where you yourself holding yourself back. Um, so it's a beautiful mirror for you. Uh, and uh, if you feel that you're stuck somewhere, it's probably because you're stuck within and, and you're not really allowing your true fiery strength and creativity and passion um, expressing itself. Uh, the next card is a Knight of Swords. So this might be what you are fearing the most. This is Gemini energy. You have now three of the Knights. So it's really talking about you becoming more youthful and um, impulsive and reckless and adventurous. It's like uh, you're a seeker now. It's like you're seeking your place in uh, space and time and where, uh, who are you and where can you uh, do the most of yourself, express yourself in the best way. Uh, the Knight of Swords is really cutting through 
uh, those old reins that you're holding back yourself with. So it's like a tornado coming here, cleaning out all up. And it's the birds of prey. So you can see things from above now. You can see where you have been holding yourself back. The Knight of Swords can be like a reckless um, dragon rider or a reckless um, spiritual rider, like going too fast, too close to the cliffs. Um, uh, so he lives a dangerous life. And this might be what you have been uh, preventing yourself from doing you don't want to say those words that might might you know you might never be able to take them back if you have told someone something that you really didn't mean so I think this is why you have been keeping yourself under control so it was for a good good cause but now it seems you need to learn the other side of it like how to be an actual creator and actually um changing destinies and being a part of the creation and uh, actually trusting yourself uh, and your own instincts because you have evolved to this stage now where you probably are not going to wreck your relationship with uh, stupid comments or being over aggressive it's actually a time of cleaning uh, so uh, I think by you starting to express your true self you will uh, all, all the old things all your old problems you will see that they they are gone they are not there anymore it's not going to be the same problems uh, so here you have the full card uh, so that's again about becoming who you really are and we see the dog here hanging on for sheer life so i see this combination for uh, many of the signs uh, right now um, probably gemini and sagittarius uh, so it's a combination of two reckless energies two very impulsive energies the fool is is um, a person that's walking out of the edge of a cliff without thinking and and the knight of swords is a reckless driver uh, so it seems like this is exactly what the doctor ordered for now uh, to free yourself and free your spiritual energy and free yourself from the old chains of old beliefs all old um, uh, comfort zones old moral codes that you have been uh, holding yourself with uh, so the dog is your uh, it's um, it's the part of you that wants to take care of you and see to that you are not hurt so this might have a bit of difficult time right now because you are going to be more dramatic more uh, reckless more more uh, it's like you're learning to fly you are learning to use your uh, your uh, impulsive instincts uh, so it's going to be a time when when things are a bit rocky, but it's better this and and then holding back your energy and losing this energy and and feeling all power powerless and tired. So this is going to be something else. It's going to ignite your life. Uh, it's probably going to change you. So people uh, that hasn't really seen you for a while might think like, oh God, who is this? <laughs> it's a new person. Um, and here we have the Ace of Wands. So this is what you need to do. You need to take your beautiful uh, Taurus energy, uh, the most slow going of all the nights, and and at least you know not argue with this night. Uh, start to align with yourself. Uh, you you might have a picture of you being like the destroyer of the world, but really Taurus isn't like this. Uh, you're usually the gardeners of Earth. So when you do something, it will be like a magic spell on the surface of our earth and in our relationships and things like this so you believe yourself to be a destroyer but i think you are a beautiful beautiful creator uh, you see here with the ace of wands when you are actually following your uh, true instincts this is your spiritual energy um, and aligning on one point like with the magnifying glass becoming more purely you um, it's like a crescendo of um, energy here so you can create whatever you were supposed to create it's again with kind of this Sagittarius energy you see the dragons here that plays with this primordial fire it's like trial by fire sometimes it will be like this and sometimes it will be ignited by your own inner creative fire so the last card for you is the six of coins and um, it shows that you will still be able to have this beautiful high uh, spiritual sense even though you uh, integrate this uh, more primordial uh, fire energies um, your instincts and and so forth um, your Im more impulsiveness you're still going to be very um, very close uh, working together with the divine with very high energies 
uh, and and being this beautiful person that you have always been like very um very modest and wants people you you want win-win situation and that's probably why you have kept yourself in such a hard range because you can control yourself and take on a lot of burdens on yourself and restrict yourself because yourself is the only thing you can you can control so you don't want to you have maybe felt that you don't want to let loose a prayer fire by by not controlling yourself so you have controlled the only thing that you could and now you're not supposed to control even that you're supposed to trust uh, the divine and your natural instincts that this will be uh, also aligned with this goal being very um uh, it's like helping other people it's like helping them grow it's like helping them come into success it's like um giving a lot of yourself being this servant but not a servant like this uh, poor servant that's um, kind of bowing and and try to help other people by making themselves really small but actually acknowledging that you are this beautiful soul and and that you have the ability to help not from humbling yourself and diminish yourself but actually becoming your true beautiful expanded self so other people can see you and see your success and see how happy you are and full of life and how vivid you are and they want to be like you and they want to know how you got to this place and you can tell them so this is a much better way to help people than to to keep yourself in such a short reigns uh, okay so i will take some cards for you from the wisdom of the hidden realms so for Taurus the first half of Mars 2017 oh a bit too many maybe okay <clears throat> we have the high lady of love and compassion and I think this is the star you are uh, living by and you have done so maybe for your whole whole of your life very unconditional love you want to be kind you want to have uh, others feelings in consideration and uh, so you want to be like a part of uh, nature and not destroy anything where you go you take really small steps and and see that every everyone is all right um but this needs to be to a certain balance um we have a lot of balance card like the temperance card the chariot the two of wands card um so um it needs to be balanced you you shouldn't be you know acting like this uh, you shouldn't be more acting like this and here's a scale again so there's need to be balance there need to be like fairness also for you you can't carry all those loads by yourself and restraining yourself and you know letting other people have their way because it's easier and and you feel like a better person if you are more like the bigger one that can okay, say okay yes we do it your way um or humble yourself in other ways it's it's supposed to be fair here uh, because you need your energy to other things than to kind of um make yourself modest uh, you are not supposed to be modest we can see this with the six of wands you're supposed to shine here like a bright diamond <clears throat> you also have the eagle king here the big picture angelic help uh, so i think this uh, is the way for you to go right now this is actually a help for you you might feel like you're over aggressive and you want to tell people like the truth that you have been holding back for so long so um I urge you to actually do this, but in in the Taurus kind of diplomatic way. So you say, I feel, I have been feeling for a long time, like this is something we need to work on. Uh, so you don't have to cause devastation. You can still express this energy um, of how you have seen things from different levels and, and what you have come to a conclusion. It's like you're cutting through old, um, all the things, all the habits in your relationships and things that you are not really satisfied with and and this is an, a tremendous support uh, it's the eagle king so when you trust your instincts you trust their vision because they see things 
uh, above the mist, close to the sun, to see the bigger picture. So uh, your instincts is actually their view of the bigger picture. They are sending you impulses of what needs from you to make the bigger picture. And you have not been trusting this. You have been holding this back uh, in fear of you doing something wrong. Um, but this is actually you doing something right for for the bigger picture. Okay, it's a lot of angelic help. They are with you all the way, kind of sending you impulses. So when you feel um, that you have too much emotions and you're really using all your energy to just keep it underneath your reins, uh, this is actually you preventing the divine will from coming um, in, in blossom on earth and for you to really express your true self. Uh, the last card is the map maker of destiny, authentic purpose, inspiration, free will. Uh, so it's much like this card. Uh, you have free will, but as long as you are not doing things accordingly with your highest destiny, you won't be able to move forward to the things you want to have in your life. Uh, so it's like free will, but with a little catch. Mm -hmm. But this is also saying that uh, you are here for a bigger purpose, and that's why uh, that's why you're being so so pushed because you're supposed to do something important. Uh, it's like you have a destiny, a certain destiny, a certain train station that you need to reach. Uh, so um, with you becoming more your true self, you will come closer also to your highest destiny. So try to try to relax, try to be more yourself, try to express yourself more freely. Don't be so afraid. Um, it's like you're thinking that you're so powerful that you will destroy destroy things just by talking and maybe you are this powerful but maybe you're not going to destroy things but actually um, heal things uh, okay so it seems like wars and battles are just what the doctor have ordered for to just now uh, you're not supposed to battle yourself anymore you're supposed to uh, align with yourself and and maybe uh, have a little bit of battle with other people uh, they might have been used to you being very modest and always uh, kind of um, uh, doing your best to make everything smoothly. And and maybe this is not going to be this way just for now uh, because you need to express a new side of you. You need to take in this new energy. So uh, uh, maybe you are going to, to change a lot. Uh, in front of other people but this is actually going to be healing for both parties um, even if you need to uh, have a little bit of conflict but conflict is um, one thing um, when you always try to you know that both parties probably have the best intentions uh, the glitch might be in the understanding of each other so communication seems to be very important to to be able to make the other party understand uh, your point of view from your battle point you have um, a lot of warrior cards here so there's probably going to be conflict and and you're probably going to solve them splendidly um, you are going to solve them not in the old way kind of not saying half of the things you mean but actually saying everything that you mean and and still have this you know the great greater good for, before your eyes like you can't suppress yourself anymore you're using too much energy to do this so you need to see this and and communicate this to your surrounding i'm not going to suppress myself anymore um it's over i can't do this it's probably has effect in your health uh, also to do this because you have used too much energy to to just keep yourself modest and and unexpressed and now you need to do it the other way uh, to free the, all this energy and it's going to be very healing for you uh, in the end even if it's going to be like uh, drama and conflicts which might be the thing that you dislike the most here and and now you need to master this skill being able to have conflicts uh, in a very beautiful way that's kind of uh, building things and um, building bridge uh, between people and creating you know, uh, justice for you also and for other people. Uh, so it's going to be good in the end, but it's much it's much needed conflict, it seems. Uh, so my beautiful Taurus, I hope this helped and I'm grateful for you watching this far. And um, I also very thankful for all of you uh, like it, subscribing and commenting to my videos. I want you to take 
really good care of yourself and I hope to see you again in uh, the middle of Mars. Okay, bye bye.